Hi, my name is Dr. Nicholas Welch. I'm here to talk to you today about the Smoke Shield system. A little bit about my background. I have eight years of volunteer firefighting experience, both in shipboard as well as municipal and county firefighting. I'm also an emergency medicine physician, so I've seen firsthand the effects of smoke inhalation on victims and house fires. And lastly, I'm a father of three young children that you know I'm constantly concerned about their safety and well-being. According to the National Fire Protection Agency, nearly 3,000 people die every year because they're unable to get out during a fire, and even half of them had working smoke alarms in their house. The smoke shield system is designed to provide you up to an hour of additional breathable air in the event that egress is not possible. It's designed to start automatically. It hangs in your closet or other confined space and recirculates the air through a carbon filter matrix to supply breathable air to allow fire and EMS to get to you. And on the sensor housing right outside the room, there's an LED strobe light, and that's designed to alert fire and rescue personnel that somebody's in the closet. Anytime the fire company can have an extra minute that they know that there's somebody in there and they have an extra minute that they realize that they can get in there and do their job and get the person out of there, it'd be a huge benefit to the firefighter. The smoke inhalation takes very little time. The more time that we have or, or they have with breathable air, the better their chances are surviving. So the system easily mounts to any wall with just uh, small little cleats that you drill in and hook. And it's got a single wire that runs to the door frame where it will connect to a sensor housing in the adjacent compartment. Now the important part of that is that that's what automates or initiates the system just like it would with any other smoke or fire detector. But it also houses the LED strobe which is what's going to alert fire and EMS that somebody is in this closet and prompt them to look in it. The system will normally start automatically. It can also be commissioned manually. Um, for the purposes of this simulation, I'm going to start it manually because I'd like for you to be able to visualize uh, the closet full of smoke. Now, uh, in, in its normal operation, it will filter the smoke as soon as it comes in, but in order for you to understand as a consumer its clearance rates and how well and how uh, operationally efficient it is, I'd like for you to see it in the worst possible condition. We've constructed this closet with this plexiglass window so that you can clearly see what a real life scenario would look like Some, when somebody, a child or an elderly would come in, they'd sit down, the unit either starts automatically or manually, and then you can see the, the smoke infiltrate the room and then ultimately clear. Now again it would normally be cleared uh, immediately as it comes in but for the purposes of this demonstration I kind of want to create worst case scenario. So I'll go ahead and start the fog now, allow the closet to fill up and then uh, I'll go ahead and manually start it so that you can uh, get a good idea on, on how well and how efficiently it's going to clear the space. So we'll start the start the fog and the simulation now. Uh, if you kind of keep an eye all smoke will accumulate high but generally where you're going to be down here, it still creates a very inhabitable, a very uh, uh, unbreathable air environment. So now you got an idea that the closet is pretty fully engulfed, so we'll start it manually. If you'll keep an eye out first, it'll, suck, it'll start to suck it up a little bit higher. Um, initially, you'll kind of see the air kind of rumble around, but as it starts to thin it out a little bit, it'll start pulling it a little bit more linear fashion through the fan. And you know, at this point, if you look down low, you're already starting to see the smoke clear to the point where any person should be able to breathe comfortably. However, within 10 to 15 seconds, you're gonna see this fully clear to the point where the only thing that's being exhausted are things that are at the very top of the closet and ultimately inconsequential or, or, or not endangering the person who, who's in here. So uh, here we are less than 15 seconds into the demonstration. And as you see that the smoke is almost fully clear of the compartment.